So, so what was your first reaction when you actually saw him, saw Ricky Hatton go down? You know what? I couldn't believe it. I mean, I know our man can do it, right. but. You know, when you watch 24-7 on HBO, they always hype up the other underdog, and, and you're just, you you want it to happen, but in the first round, the first time he went down on his knees, I couldn't believe it. And I just was shocked, amazed, and I couldn't, elated. Wow. So if you were to do a round-by-round -round analysis, how or, or, or announcing it, how would you say, and Manny Pacquiao knocks down Ricky Head, how would you say it? <laughs> <laughs> and the fighter of the century knocks down Ricky Hatton for the, in the first round. <laughs> Who could? Who would have ever thought? Do you think? No. It's, yeah, it's I'm not. Crazy. I'm not a sports announcer. News, maybe. News, <laughs> news. So how's your news going? I, I, it's well. I'm in the middle of a dinner break right now. We're doing a story on the. Um, well, it's Fargo being bailed out, maybe, in the stress test. So right. we've got our live truck downstairs. That's why I'm in the middle of this, and we're going live at 10. But I figured oh, wow. we're here. I can stop by, at least Definitely. say hi, Definitely. and, uh, you know, show show my, my support for our Gumbabayan. So what would you want to say to Manny Pacquiao? Manny, you're the man. And you punched me once, and I let it happen, and that's because you're the man. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so it's much, Sharon.